Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up on Roku in the sports section. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk about week three of the National Football League. I have an over-under play. I also have a point spread pick. But before we do, for serious gamblers, let me encourage you to research the work of Greg Cosell, right, of NFL Films. He'll actually look at what's called a coach's tape, and he'll actually dissect film on quarterbacks. And his opinion frequently doesn't conform with public opinion, right? So you have a chance to get an edge on the casino, right? Cosell breaks down film like a coach would break down film. Now you've heard me here online talk about how the San Francisco 49ers this season are overrated, right? They're so overrated, folks, that if you look at the last box score of the home game, the home opener, which they lost to the Bears, and if you look at the number of times Jay Cutler was sacked, and keep in mind, Cutler's back in that pocket a lot in that game, You'll be astonished to learn that the 49er defense only sacked Jay Cutler one time. One time. Right? Another problem the Niners have, and keep in mind, by the way, that pass rush, Alden Smith is out for seven more games. One month and three more weeks. Right? Good luck with that lack of a pass rush in the NFC West. Right, But another problem they have, quite frankly, and this runs against public sentiment, is the fact that Colin Kaepernick, who is developing into a nice quarterback, isn't quite there yet. Right, He's a great athlete. The problem is playing quarterback requires read and recognition. You have to take a lot of information and distill it. You look at the elite teams in this league and you're going to notice that they all have guys who can operate from the pocket. Right? With perhaps the exception of the Seattle Seahawks. Right? So, my point to you is Greg Cosell has an article that he penned right now that's up on YouTube, excuse me, on Yahoo Sports, right, where he talks about what the film shows him from that Chicago Bear, San Francisco 49er game. And he points out that Colin Kaepernick is missing open receivers. There are throws Kaepernick left on the field, throws that a Tom Brady or a Drew Brees would have made. Right. Let me also point out, too, that Vernon Davis is banged up. Understand, Kaepernick has favorite wide receivers. Right. Vernon Davis is a big part of the 49er passing attack. Just understand, he's at less than 100%. Right. So if you're analyzing the 49ers, two things you need to consider are the pass rush and the quarterback. Right? Some quarterbacks are just, you know, intuitively able to look at a bunch of passing trees and know who to hit and know how to be what Greg Cosell calls anticipation throwers. They don't throw the ball at you. They throw the ball where you will be. Right? Cosell questions whether Kaepernick has mastered that skill. It's worth a read. Let's get to week three, right? These are the lines as of 12.14 p.m. on September the 17th, 2014, West Coast time in the United States, right? I like the under 50 and a half points in the Washington Redskin Philadelphia Eagle game. Right? I believe much of the public has been distracted 
by games outside of the conference, right? Games against teams like Jacksonville and Indianapolis, right? I believe the public also has been distracted by this RG3 dislocated ankle Kirk Cousins story, right? Just understand that right now, two of the best rushing defenses in the entire league belong to these two teams, right? Also understand, too, that even though there was a coaching change in Washington, right? Jay Gruden is now the first-year head coach of the Washington Redskins. Understand there was no change with Jim Hazlitt's involvement as Redskin defensive coordinator, right? Understand that last year, these two teams played each other and the Redskins were able to hold uh, the um, Eagles to 17 points in the rematch. They weren't ready for Chip Kelly the first time around. They were the second time around, right? LaShawn McCoy only had 77 rushing yards in that game, right? Now for a divisional game against an opponent you play two times a year, I believe the 50 and a half is a bit high. I like the under 50 and a half in the Redskin versus Eagle game. Now let's switch gears and let's talk about the matchup between, it's another divisional battle, the Baltimore Ravens and the Cleveland Browns. Let me just say this. I like the Ravens laying two points on the road in Cleveland, right? Just keep in mind that there's a difference between these two teams' defense, right? The Ravens are actually above average defensively. They can shut you down. The Browns can't. We're two weeks in, and understand, even though the Browns are one and one, Understand that in both weeks, their opponents had more first downs than they did. Understand the Pittsburgh Steelers put up more than 500 yards of total offense against the Browns week one. Understand the Saints put up 397 yards of offense. Right? I believe the Browns right now are well coached, but they're also very fortunate because they've been outgained in both games. Right? So, to me, the Ravens are the more complete team. The Ravens have an interesting dynamic going right now with Steve Smith, the wide receiver. It looks like he can still play. Right? The Ravens also have an offense where they have two tight end receiving threats. Right? Both of whom are effective. I think the Ravens are, simply put, a better team than the Browns. I think they have more talent than the Cleveland Browns. I like the Baltimore Ravens laying two points this weekend, week three, over the Cleveland Browns in the Cleveland Browns' home. Let me hear from you. If there are other plays that have caught your eye, I've already done a video on the Atlanta-Tampa Bay matchup. If there are other plays that have caught your eye for this week, help us all try to get a leg up on the casino by leaving that information in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.